Stocks started the day in positive ter territory, but mostly finished lower. The Dow down 109 points, closing at 25,270. The S&P 500 down 17, ending the day at 27.23. And the Nasdaq down 77 points, finishing the trading session at 7,356. Market analysis now from Kate Austin. She's with Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts, and she's in the newsroom. Hi, Kate. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Good, let's talk about uh, the uh, trading day on Wall Street. The numbers down for the day. What was moving them downward? Yeah, it was a bit of a bumpy ride. You know, we started up in the morning and then around mid-morning gave up those gains and ended down for the day. Uh, we had a positive earnings um, economic report on employment uh, and rumors out of Washington of a possible trade agreement with China. Unfortunately, though, there were conflicting messages about that report and that contributed to the sell-off. This really combined with investor reaction to Apple's guidance, led prices lower on the day and closed the market down about a half a percent. And unfortunately, just like that, our winning streak was over. Well, let's talk a little bit about the uh, employment report that you mentioned. What did it tell us? Well, overall, it was very positive. In October, um, 250 jobs were added to the market, and this was well over analyst expectations of 188,000. Um, we've seen higher monthly numbers than this, but overall, it was very good. And the unemployment rate was steady at 3.7%. Any so. signs that employers are pulling back at this point? Because really, this has been a several months long roll for, uh, for, for job numbers. Exactly. And I think, you know, that continues to be a risk going forward, especially with trade war rhetoric coming out of Washington. But nothing's been reflected in the numbers thus far. OK, so good news on the job side. Let's talk about some bad news. Apple, rough after hours last night, didn't get a whole lot better today. Unfortunately, no, it was not a great day for Apple shareholders. Um, the stock closed down almost $15. <clears throat> Uh, share, even though they had what I thought was a very good quarter for the third quarter. Um, what drew the stock price down today was um, management guidance for the fourth quarter was lower than what investors expected, and that really led to the sell-off. All right. Um, so, but, no. but you know, a bad day for Apple isn't necessarily a bad year. The stock's still up 22% year to date. You know, that's a good point, and we kind of we, we should make that point more often that a bad day doesn't mean a bad year. Yeah. All right. What are we looking forward to tomorrow? Well, next week we have um, the Fed has a meeting, and uh, obviously we have midterm elections coming up, so we expect you know short-term volatility coming from that. And then um, companies are still reporting their earnings, so look for Disney next week as well as local company TripAdvisor. All right, Kate Austin, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks, Kate. Thanks very much.